Here we have some word problems that have to do with special right triangles. So that 45, 45, 90 we've been dealing with and the 30, 60, 90. Let's look at this first one. It says, you are creating quilting blocks out of squares. If a block has a diagonal of 11 centimeters, how long is each side to the nearest tenth of a centimeter? So we've got a square here. And the first thing you should know about squares is that all the sides are the same. And then we've got a diagonal that they've told us is 11 centimeters. So this is 11. And then these two sides are going to be the same. What you've got there is an isosceles right triangle, because that's a right angle. And you should recognize that as our 45, 45, 90 triangle, because these two angles are going to be 45 degrees. And the 45, 45, 90 triangle has this ratio of sides, 1, 1, and square root of 2 for the hypotenuse. So, we can set up a proportion here to figure out what one of these sides is, and that's what we're trying to find is this, the length of the side of the square. Right now we've got the square root of 2 side measuring 11 centimeters. So, I'm going to write a proportion like this. 11 is to the square root of 2 as what we're looking for, the real length of this side, is to 1. So notice I set up a proportion with two ratios, and on the top I've got the real lengths of the sides, and on the bottom, I've got the ratio lengths that were given for a standard 45, 45, 90 triangle. Now I can cross multiply, and I get x times the square root of 2 equals 11. And then to solve for x, we just divide by the square root of 2. And let me punch that in on the calculator. 11 divided by square root of 2. And I get x equals 7, let's see, we're supposed to go to the nearest tenth, so 7.8 centimeters. Let's take a look at the next one. This one says, find the radius of the largest circle that can be cut from a square piece of paper with a diagonal of 14 centimeters. Okay, so we've got a square piece of paper and it's got a diagonal of 14 centimeters. Now, what is the biggest circle you could cut from that? Well, it would be a circle that went from all the way from one side to the other. So its diameter is going to be the distance across the square, which is the length of the side. So what we're really doing in this problem is trying to find the length of the side. In fact, it's exactly what we were doing back up here. We were given a diagonal, and we were asked to find the length of the side. So that's all we're really doing here. So let's see how this goes. Um, this that we formed here again is our 45, 45, 90 triangle. So the ratio is 1, 1, square root of 2. So let me set up a proportion. 14 is to the square root of 2 as x is to 1. And we'll cross multiply again, and I get uh, 14 equals x times the square root of 2. Divide both sides by the square root of 2. So we've got 14 divided by the square root of 2, and that is 9.899 and change. But we have to wait a second because that's not really our answer. That is the length of this side. And what they're asking for really is the radius. And we've figured out the diameter. So we just need to cut this in two. So I'm going to divide that by two. And we get 4.9 centimeters as our answer. Let's look at one more. This one's a little bit more involved. This one says, you're planning to use a ceramic tile design in your new bathroom. The tiles are blue and white equilateral triangles. You decide to arrange the blue tiles in a hexagonal shape as shown below. So each one of these little triangles in here is an equilateral triangle. If the side of each tile measures 7 centimeters, what will be the height of each hexagonal shape? So the height, they want to find this distance from here to here. So if I drew a line like this straight down the center, that would be the height. And when I do that, I split these equilateral triangles into two 30, 60, 90 triangles. This little triangle in here is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Let me just pull this one that I've created here down so we can work with it a little more up close. And let me draw in what I know here. Here's my right angle. Here's my 30 degree angle. Here's my 60 degree angle. And the side of the equilateral triangle was 7. When I cut it in half, this side down here becomes 3.5.
And what we have in an equal lateral, er, sorry, in a, a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we have sides in the ratio of 1, 2, and square root of 3. And we want to find this square root of 3 side because this right here plus another one just like it is going to add up to the height of this. So I'm actually going to solve for that side and then multiply by 2. Well, I've got um, one measurement here, my 3.5, so I'm going to set up a, a proportion here. 3.5 is to 1 as, well, x, we don't know the real length of this side yet, is to square root of 3. When I cross multiply, I get x equals 3.5 times the square root of 3. So let's go ahead and plug that into the calculator. And I get x equals 6.06. .06 but I, remember, I've got to multiply that by 2 to get the height. So I get the height as 12.12, and these were centimeters. And that is our answer.